Hello and welcome to this week's video. Good morning. Good morning. This video is going to be a bit different than what it's been in the past. Normally I try to complete one craft per video, but the craft I'm working on right now is I'm crocheting something that you will see next week. And it is taking approximately 57 years. It is so slow going. Um, which she's is been working every day. Pretty much nonstop. But I just wanted to talk a little bit today about how that's fine. Like it's fine to take the time you need to do a craft. Um, and especially because we have these standards that are put upon us by watching all these YouTubers that complete these huge things in one week and we watch them kill themselves over it. We need to remember that that's their full-time job and it's not my full-time job and it takes a while to get there. So I figured today I would show you in real time what it is like to crochet. So for reference, I have been making these little granny squares for next week. Ah! <laughs> Did you just pull off? You okay? That was hilarious. Thank you for sharing that, Davy. <laughs> so, that was genuinely on accident. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the scream was scrumped. Anyways, these are the granny squares that I'm making for next week's video. And I have all of them to this point. So all that is left is to add the green. Um, which you may think, oh, it's just, you know, a, one more step. Like how long could it take? The answer is about 15 minutes per square. And it takes about 45 minutes total for one complete square. But I am making 26 squares for next week's video. So if you imagine 45 minutes per square, it's a lot. So yeah, I figured I would show you t in real time, like it's okay to go slow and it's okay to take breaks and to not get everything done and to not, to enjoy the process of a project rather than try to rush through it in order to get it done. Like the thing I'm making is going to be beautiful because I took my time on it. And I think it's important to remember that sometimes things need to go slow and slower is better. Um, so consider me your little body double today and we can just kind of work alongside with each other. Um, feel free to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and we will just chill out, listen to some music and if I have anything else to say and while I continue to work, I'll say it. But for now, the vibes are vibing. I will say the hardest part about learning to crochet because I have crocheted previously but I haven't done it in a long time and the hardest part is trying to freaking count <laughs> which doesn't seem like it would be that difficult but I because the numbers are constantly changing I'm like okay I have to do three and then I have to do two and my brain is just struggling with trying to change up the numbers because I <laughs> Apparently I just thrive on routine a lot, which is why I did all of my granny squares and portions because um, the way I'm crocheting each different color is different um, in order to make the flower. And it was faster and just easier for me to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again than having to re-figure out how to do it each time. squares. Um, the hardest part about this green portion though is that there's one round for the yellow, one round for the, oh that was wrong, <laughs> one round for the pink, um, and then there's two rounds for the green and it is different for each round of the green so I have to change things up a little bit so which is why I mean I've made so many and I'm still making mistakes is because my brain is or well, my body is just automatically doing one thing, which is not what it's supposed to actually be doing. 
So I just need to use my brain the whole time, which is weird. But it is kind of nice, it's relaxing.
The magic number on round two is 10. I didn't set you up for success for any of the rest of it. <laughs> if you want me to teach you how to do it, I will, but I absolutely just watched a different tutorial on YouTube, so.
there we go. Yet another square done. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I just want to say that art should be fun and it should, you should make art because it's a joy to make, not because you need to get the next thing done and you need to rush through this process. Yeah, take your time with it and have fun and let it actually be something enjoyable or else you're just gonna burn yourself out. That's all I have to say. See you next week.